Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Natalia with you, Lovecraft Forever. Well, what do you know? It's April 1st and in many countries it's the Fool's Day. I don't know if uh, any of you don't have this day, don't celebrate when you cracking uh, jokes on each other, trying to trick somebody. So it's a very fun day from morning till the bedtime everybody keep teasing each other so happy fool's day but there is a no fool in today in this video my friends we are going to talk about light bed light bed is very important in our diamond painting journey because you see me very often uh, working on my diamond painting when i do uh, diamond painting canvases, especially when they have dark background. It's, sometimes it's hard to see when you have only overhead lights, which I have right now, my dining room lights, my living room lights. But when I do diamond painting, it's not always enough of the light to create this um, more comfortable way to diamond paint. And very often you see me using my little light pen which i have in here it's a very tiny but you know if you have a little tiny canvas something like this which this is easter rabbit we will work on it soon for this kind of canvas this size it could be okay it's almost fit just a little bit misses if we can look okay maybe the colorful side if you look the size compared to the canvas it's almost almost fit so it's not bad right um and it really helps it has a three settings so when you work on a dark uh, area you can change the settings and you see your uh, placement where to place your diamonds of course you have to put underneath like this and create your diamond painting so but what if Let's see, what if, my friends, you have canvas that is something like this size, okay? <laughs> yes, this is my custom diamond painting roses. And of course, for this size of canvas, there's like, it's not possible to create something that will be comfortable to work with this light pad you see the size of it and of course the size of my custom roses which is roses that my husband bought me i took picture and i created my custom diamond painting so this size in here 90 centimeters by 120 as you can see yes it's a huge 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 canvas it really not comfortable would be to work for me on a little light pad because I have to move constantly and I like to place my diamonds cross country which is you pick one color and you place as much as you can reach but there is something super excited today that I want to show you I have it here on my table so let me lift my table. This is my craft table that we are going to a little bit lift so you can see maybe a little bit more. This package arrived from Artat and I was getting the goosebumps all over my arms when I saw that my box arrived and is waiting for me outside the door look at the size this is a light pad so i think this is going to be a life-changing experience for me to do diamond painting on huge huge canvases and you know how much how many i have them in my whips already huge canvases i love to work on huge canvases and very often i do use my little light pad so now let me just open this box because I did not see inside yet okay we are going to see with you together by the way in my screen pick up the organizer also from our dad uh, and we are going to kitten up some diamond painting with you in it all right so you first will see this okay let me open I just 
cut the tape so it will be a little bit easy. Oh, MG. <laughs> oh, MG. Look at that. So what we have in here? Okay, we okay we do have a cord in here. Um. Wow. Okay, I think I need to get this out of the box first, and then just a minute. Hopefully, we don't have to stop this video. Let's just pull out because. I don't want you to miss anything. Oh my goodness, this is a huge. We have some instruction in here. Uh, let me get this light out. Hopefully not to drop. Okay. All right, wow, this almost fit on a whole table. So we have a nice, protective corners in here on each side and I hope you can hear me well I did not know if I will need a USB cord because my uh, little light need to be connected to USB cord so I kind of brought with me a power bank because I don't know how this is going to work but I see that we have in here um, actual plug that you can plug it into the wall which is wonderful because this uh, light pad with this canvas it doesn't fit on my table where I usually do my work on my desk by computer so this canvas will be nice to work or on this table or actually even put flat on my dining table so let's see how long this cord okay uh, maybe a meter long, I would say. Not very long. I might will have to use like extension cord as well. We'll see that. But where is the? Let's find the way where we can plug it in. Oh my goodness! This is amazing. Oh my goodness! This is amazing. Wow. All right, let me show you. Okay, so this is only uh, kind of clear, shiny on the other side. And we do have the plug right in here. It's a very tiny, short cord. We might well go out of the focus because it's a white board. Nice signature art dot on the bottom of this light pad. The size is magnificent, so let me see, we will plug it in and at the same time I will be uh, try to read this instruction. So I do have a plug next to me in here, Let, let's try, hopefully it's work, finger cross, okay, I have a switcher in here, light next to me, let's see, okay. This should do. Now we are going to plug it in. I hope you can see it. All right, the plug itself already have a blue light, so it means it's working. And then, uh, okay, let's see what happened here. It says a LED light tracing board. Designed for everyone, like you know, to, to trace if you want. If you're artist, you can trace your design. Actually, also would be nice if you do embroidery, you can trace right on your fabric to put design and then to stitch. So it has, I believe, three settings. The light. Okay, it's kind of hard to see in here with this light, but let's just see. We have a button in here. Okay, this is one, two, three. So three settings light, it's work. Now I want to try if this is, uh, I don't want to read it because it's too tiny <laughs> writing on it. So I'm, I want to see if this is dimmable or not. So I'm going to get to the second and just try to hold that. It's gonna turn it off. 
no it's not dimmable so you have to kind of touch it to create this okay so now if i put my diamond painting let's see now i will put my roses on the top so we kind of see a little bit better look at this one it's going to fit oh wow it's just perfect fit all the way to the edge of the um, light pad so if i work in here i definitely will need to use some kind of clamps to clip my diamond painting to the top or just simply kind of push over if i work in the middle it stays it's not gonna fall but now let's see with the light how this is going to look like if we can click in here let me go on this side so you can see maybe better okay this is one two and three wow you see how nice and bright in here that's beautiful and you can tell that my 90 centimeters canvas fit perfectly good to be honest i never use this craft table as a um, crafting because i kind of got used it to work on a flat surface so definitely i will try to use on this table but what else make me happy that i can use this on my dining table i have a lot of plugs in here around i can do party together with you in white in here catherine in white sherry and we can place diamonds together and have fun I have some extra light pad like Catherine can use this little one I think it would be great and this one oh my god it's my baby <laughs> the baby was born on April 1st okay this is amazing so consider that my birthday just 15 days away are that thank you so much I will consider this as my birthday present because I'm so so happy I'm so happy I really do and yes it, it works wonderful on three seconds and it's go pretty bright um the surface in here kind of it's not a slippery slicky like the other little board like when i have this one how can i explain let me see kind of more shiny this little one more shiny more slippery this one has it's almost feels like frosted glass so i think it will be when you have a elevated your diamond paint it will be less slippery to go down but at the same time use some kind of clamps to hold on to the top of the light pad wow this is amazing this is amazing so let me grab my camera in my hands and I can show you a little bit more close up. There is possibility that my camera will go out of the focus because of the whiteboard. So I placed diamond paint in purposely to kind of keep a focus for the camera. So as you can see here is the big button to kind of push it. And this cord from here, it's very short, your connector. And I'm so glad that it's actually not USB cord because with the USB very often it has a separation and break apart. So this one definitely will be long lasting and you just plug it in into the your power bank and you are golden. Now I really love when company do their own signature. We have a beautiful in here art dot and if we can look okay i don't know there's probably not much okay maybe very sign uh no you cannot see the texture in it but it definitely kind of like a frosted glass and it's so nice to see kind of big the fit on the whole table very very nice kind of you can see a little bit of the borders go the light would go right from here but obviously you need a glue somehow so the light starts from this white borders around but because it's so big it is so nice i'm really looking forward now to work with this light pad 
it's very nice and thin if we can pick a bow from the side in here let me just hold if in case not to fall hold on hold on hold on hold on okay here you can see how how thin that is okay so it's easy kind of to store somewhere but by the wall somewhere i don't know but looks amazing looks amazing i'm super super happy now my friends always look in the description box because sometimes i've received some information that is very very like a uh, valuable information that uh, not always i can say in my video but later i would add into my description not description box under the video so always check there's i believe discount code also and hopefully you will have um there is expensive i have to say expensive but if you count how much money you will pay for a little light pad and how many squares of that light pad would fit in this little one let me just grab in here quickly just to show you see that's what i'm holding in here with the clamps because the usb cord is very easy to break in here so if you would think how many this light pads would go on the top of this border to measure probably you need like six of them or so so if you connect all the money together how much would you pay for this one and then compare money for the bigger one you definitely would think that it's after all it's not as bad expensive as you think so plus you have a one amazing board if you uh like to work on a big canvases as i do also if you're an artist your kids would love to trace images on this board amazing and i think i will try to trace something you can trace your own picture and then later paint kind of like by number to create your own art possibilities with this one is magnificent it, it's huge it's gorgeous it's grand and there's uh, no fooling around in here my friends <laughs> anyway happy april 1st a fool's day that is turned to be amazing in here i hope you like this video review uh, let me know what you think about this and at the same time tell me if you already uh, own one in this size and of course all the size descriptions uh, you can read on um, on a website in the description box up there so you can see everything you need to see read about all the instruction need to be done but i think this is very easy to use and i'm actually very happy that they have a cord instead of, of a usb cord so that that's great that's great you don't have to worry about uh, charging battery or stuff like that so that that's great thank you so much everyone i will see you in my next video